Hi everybody, welcome back to my crafty desk. My name is Sandra, and today we are gonna continue to work on um, Be Sweet. So this is journal, um, junk journal number eight in the, yeah, number eight in the 10 junk, in the 10 junk journal giveaway. So that's exciting. So I, um, it, this isn't technically a start to finish, but it is, I'm just bringing you along for my process. So I've, we've got the signature already together. Um, if you'd like to see more of that, there's a video before this one that shows kind of some of that, some of those parts. Um, and we also have already put, put some pieces in here. So what I've been doing is it's a mixture of the white pages, you know, white backgrounds and copy dyes and then some um, designer paper and things like that. And I just kind of wanted to jazz up the white space a little bit. And I think every white space is going to have something on it. So I pulled my um, Carabelle um, texture um these little texture mats, if you've never seen them, they're so fun. Um, I use these for my jelly plate printing and I love them. They're, 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 like, they're not cheap, so I've only got a few of them and I just keep getting them, well, I don't keep getting them. I mean, as time permits, money, you know, that sort of thing, but I love them. But they work great for all kinds of things, not just jelly plate printing. So I pulled these out and I, I started doing this and I thought, oh, maybe somebody, maybe somebody would want to watch and hang out and craft with me. So I'm using, I pulled some inks for, um, to use with this journal of my Distress Oxides. I've got speckled egg, peacock feathers, and broken china. And then I also pulled some, my little mini, um, Tim Holtz Distress, Distress Ink. So these are not the oxides. And I've got dry marigold, wild honey, and spiced Dried marigold, wild honey, and spiced marmalade. Yes. Okay. And I have my little daubers, and I'm hopefully we we all know I'm gonna get them mixed up, but that's okay. It's okay. It's just color. So, and then because I wanted to make sure, I'm trying to stay. I've got a lot of the colors going in here, but this is the cover, and this is just tissue paper that I had decoupage on on a on a on an envelope, one of those Manila. That's not Manila. It's like those whatever envelope. And then I have this is scrapbooking paper. I've already glued it down um, and stitched around it. Anyhow, so I'm just trying to kind of stay in that color family because it's pretty. And let's get those things out of the way. We don't want to destroy them. So, so when I was picking my my oranges, um, pardon me, my my nose is wanting to be a runny nose. Um, I took a just a regular index card and I just I grab all the colors that I that I pulled. Um, and then I also have that rusty hinge. I didn't show you that one, Distress Ink. I have that in Oxide also, but I'm just using the Distress Inks. So I just kind of go around the edges. I want to see how it's going to look on the when I'm um, going deep or heavy on the edges. And then I just pull it through to see how it lightens up and what the color variations are and how will they play together. And let me say, Spice Marmalade and Wild Honey look very similar. I think on the edging is where I can only see a tiny bit of difference. Other than that, they're very similar. So. Um, if I mix those two up, I guess it's not a big deal. And the same thing with the dry marigold and the rusty hinge. I think the rusty hinge seems like it's just a deeper tone of the dry marigold. However, my dry marigold may have been a little bit dry. So I tried um, Erica's um, suggestion. Thank you, Erica. And um, I spritzed some water on that and I'm just letting it set so we can, and then we'll just try it again and see. I hope that works because that would be awesome. So let's get to it. So I got my signature put together. I'm gonna pull my pull my my bulky piece out here. I'm gonna set it over here so I don't destroy it, hopefully. And then what I did is I grabbed my, just using my glue book here. These are the pieces that were on, that are going on this page. So I know this is, I already chose the pieces. And, and I, so what I did is I went ahead and I inked it up with speckled egg. Easy peasy, just like this. I don't know, hopefully you can see all this. Let me look at the camera. Yep, I'm on camera. So I just got some ink on it. And then I already have as many dots, I think, as that, that I really want on here. So, but I'll do a couple um, on my book here so you can see. I think you'll be able to see through here. So I just press it. Oh, I guess you can't see that. We're gonna put some more, so it's okay. This is gonna be covered up anyways. So I just press them down, you know where I want. I guess I can put a little bit here on that, in between that. 
and it carries through pretty well. These things hold ink nice. I mean, I just, this all this stamping, I only inked this up one time, and you can still see there's tons of ink on here. <clears throat> I wonder if I have a scrap paper nearby. I do. So, let me just, I don't wanna waste it. Isn't that pretty? And that's the speckled egg. It has kind of a, um, like a grayish, greenish kind of, um, I don't know the color. I just, I really like it though. It's a really nice color. So there's a lot that you can get out of these stamps. And I think that's why they work so well with the jelly plate printing. So anyhow, now I don't have to have a stark white page. <clears throat> if I want to go around the edges, I still can. And so what I'm doing is I'm just trying to make sure that my colors are playing well with the next page, which they should. And so I just take my book. Oh my gosh. I didn't, I wasn't planning on doing a video, so I'm not prepared <laughs> at all. <laughs> Worse than normal. So let's see. If I put this, that's the back of that card. This is what I was trying to say, is that that color I feel like looks really nice. With the next page, it kind of pulls in that color. That's what, that is what I'm trying to say. So now I will put my little pieces back in here. And, and at this point in time too, this is when I decide, do I want to edge it? I don't think I do. I think I want to just kind of it'll be a little bit more simplified <clears throat> if that's such a thing for me. Just do that. So, well, I'm just having a rough morning. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my gosh. Let's get this out of here. I'll just leave that for now. And then I'm going to go into the next page. I just want to make sure it stays where to put it because I will never remember what I wanted to do. So now my next page is going to be this white one. I'm just going to pick it up. Leave the, do the, do the dolly, leave the doily there. And I'm going to just turn my book like that because I will literally forget where I put this, where, where, where it belongs. Okay, and I have zero room here, okay. So now I know that these are the pieces that are gonna go right here. I know that that piece that came off was that cream colored, the this side has a lot of those colors. I, the, anything's going to look fine here. Now it's just a matter of choosing what I want to use. And I've got this one. I also have my stencils, but I kind of wanted to see this. This is pretty cool. It's got a lot of different um, um, designs on it. So that's, I don't know if you can come through. Let me take it out of here so it's not so shiny. Is that better? I think that might be better. So isn't that cool? They're just so fun. I mean, they're um, definitely worth the money, I feel like, because I, they're very versatile and you get a, a lot of different things to play with. So let's get my little corners off and set those aside. And so I know that's that color that that one's gonna be. So now what color do I wanna do this? And then I'll have to stay with these colors. I can do whatever I want with other colors. So uh, this is where I bring this in. So I don't like any of those with that. I mean, I just, it's not my cup of tea. So, but maybe this um, antique linen, this is a distress one. So, I mean, this is an oxide one. Let's just see what happens. So I'm going to do a little tester again. Why do I not have, Tester papers over here. One second. We'll just grab some scrap scrap um, cardstock of my scrap bin here. I just want to see what that's going to look like. So, yeah, I don't mind that. I like that. Okay, so let's get that going on. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to ink it up. Normally, I would be, it'd be better to not ink it on top of that paper because I'm very messy. Whoops, see, already, mess, mess. Oh my gosh, I have a feeling I'm gonna be in love with this journal. <laughs> so I've been thinking about that. Like I haven't, I've never made myself a journal and um, and I have a long list of um, journal to make, journals to make for other people. Um, 
you know, um, anyways. But I was looking for, when I was looking for what am I gonna use to make journal number eight, I came across um, a journal that I had been working on a long time ago. And it's really pretty, I really like it. And um, when I opened it up, I thought, oh, maybe this. And I was like, well, it's kind of big. It's too big for this, I think. Um, it's a three signature journal. I was just kind of messing around, kind of learning, teaching myself some different things. But what I came, what I thought about is, I think it's going to be really cool for me to use as a journal to keep, um, you know, like when I got that mail from Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. That was so sweet. And things like, and look, things that I get from, well, from anyone, or even just a letter or a card or just whatever or something I make. I don't know. It's going to be a combo, a combo, combo journal. And I'll show that to you in a. I'll, I think I can show that to you in a minute. Look at that. Messy, messy. So, so I don't know if you can see. It doesn't really give, I didn't really stamp it to give a like specific image, but then I'll just put these on here and see. How do I like that? See, and I, I like that. I think it just gives it just enough background. I can still do something different with it later on if I choose, but um, I don't have to. I feel like that's kind of, that's, that's kind of nice. I think I might actually put a little bit of these polka dots on there just to add a little bit more texture. So, yeah, just get them up on the edges. I just really want it since I'm not inking the, the you know, the top there, I kind of just want to give it a little something more. And since that's where the corners are going to go, I want it to come out of the corner. Did I get that out? Yep. And I want that. So it, it looks like it's, you know, a full page. There we go. And then maybe a little bit down here, even though this is on the spine or the seam or the crease or whatever it's called. There we go. The same thing up there. Okay. See? What do you think? I like that. I think it came out nice. So I'm going to stick these now back on here and move on to the next page. I already inked um, all the copy dye papers. I've already got all the edges inked how I want them, I feel. Um, I decided, well, if this as of today, <laughs> so I've decided I'm not going to sew on the pages. I mean, that may change. It just depends when I get a little bit further into this. Um, but let's see, let's put this now back together here. And that goes in there. And this is how I get ink smudges all over my books, but I think that's, <laughs> you'll, you'll know you have a Sandra journal by that. If it doesn't have an ink smudge somewhere on accident, if there's no secrets, it's not, I did not make it. <laughs> I, this is gonna drive me crazy. I have to get that back on there. So I was looking for some more of this material. I'm, I'm, I know I have some. I don't. I just don't know where I, I can't find it. I have no idea. Maybe I gave it away. Who knows? So I found it in the um, in the twelve. Um, in the twelve, I found a, a piece of it in another in another one of them. So I stole it out of there. So now we have the cover, which is this, right? It's kind of. Maybe I should just go ahead and attach that. I want to get the. But I want to get the little things punched in. So we have the cover, opening it up, and then we have this page. Whoops. Okay, and we have that. So then I'm going to look at this, and I, I like what I'm doing here, but I think I just want a little something there. So let's just go ahead and um, maybe since we have that one open, and those there's a lot of colors on that, we'll just do some of these on there. So I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to move that. And we're just going to go just like that and make it nice and crooked and we'll add a little bit of, oh my gosh I'm using this in my backdrop okay and then we're gonna go a little bit more here on that side and then on this side there and then a little bit up here and I feel like there we go and I'll put some on that seam right there and right there and right there, and right there, there, that's enough, stop. <laughs> so, and I like that, I do. 
I hope you do too. And so, and it's probably not dried. It's going to um, transfer. That's okay. I'm okay with it. And then I have that. I like that. I'm going to leave that. And I've got this nice solid linen page right there. Um, I'm not going to put anything on that of, of what we're doing today. I'm going to leave this one. This page right here would be the next one. And this is with that decoupaged bag. So let's do this. Um, so I'm going to pull this paper up. Lay that down that way so I know where I'm at. And then lift everybody up and put them on the cover. There we go. I think I'm sort of getting it together here. Let's put the thing up there. So this side, these are my pockets. I like, I want to keep these these out so I see them, my colors. And I think this would be a fun page to use some of these um, wilder, these little more, more wilder colors. So I'm going to go ahead and just, um, before I do that, whoops, before I do that, before I do this, let me just grab another piece. And I'm just going to um, stamp them off, I guess. Yeah, let's do that first. Why waste ink? Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and wipe it off. And that's just paint in there, some acrylic paint from my, the last time I used them on jelly plate printing. Has anybody here done the jelly plate printing? I, I love it. I, I really love it. It is very addictive. I do it until my back hurts, literally. <laughs> So, I mean, that's usually when I stop. I'm like, wow, why are my legs hurting? Why is my back hurting? And then I look at the clock and I'm like, oh my gosh, I've been doing this for six hours. Or <laughs> usually it's like about four hours straight. But that's how addictive it is. It's crazy. But, you know, there, there, there's worse addictions. So my husband always tells me you could be, there's worse addictions. So I do like, I do love it. If you want it, um, me to do some jelly plate printing on a video, let me know. I'm probably gonna do it anyways, but if you're interested, I'd like to know <laughs> if you're interested in it. All right, let's get those a little bit, and then we'll stick these over here. Out of the way. Let's see, um, I don't even know if I wanna do another one of these, but isn't this cute? So I'm gonna look and see how they come up, how they come up with this. Like it's very florally, that's florally, that's florally. Would that be kind of cute or? Maybe I'll actually use a stencil on this one. I did bring my stencils over. I probably should close that little lady up. Let's see. Let me just grab a stack of stencils and um, I think that would look nice. Let's just go with that and then and then I just store my stencils like these ones, these little ones. This is um, from the grocery store, again, you know, with all the little foods and things, especially now that people aren't doing bags. I, and I hate shopping, so gro I hate grocery shopping. I love shopping, but I hate grocery shopping. <laughs> so I try to buy as much as I can when I go. So I just get grab the little containers that they, whatever they're, they're selling in. And that holds it, nice, so, super sweet. Okay, so I think I want to do this, but I wanna go light. Um, I know there's a right side and a wrong side, and I think that's, this is, I think this is it. So, who knows? It doesn't matter. I, I really don't care. And I have a whole bunch of daubers. Um, look at that. It's like so messy and gross. I probably should get rid of those really dark ones because they are just super messy, but I don't even know what color this one is. It looks like it could be broken china. Yeah, because that one's... Um, peacock feathers although I think I like the peacock feathers so let's just let's do some peacock feathers on here did I have one that's peacock feathers does that that looks like a peacock feather doesn't it maybe maybe I don't know we'll just you know let's mix it who cares okay there we go and I'm gonna kind of I want to go I want to start off light so just if I, I, I don't have a very light hand. I, even when I think I have a light hand, it's not that light. There, I just not too bad. 
So, I mean, I don't have to do that whole page, right? Because this is going to take up the whole page. And then where'd my little pocket go? I guess this is over here. Okay, let's see. Oops. I almost made a heart, it looks like, but it, I want it on the... So, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to ink the edges, so I really want to get my design kind of up there, because that's where you're going to see it, especially where this bag is, right? So... And the bag is going to be up off the bottom as well, so we want to make sure we get inside there a little bit. And then over here. Because once that bag is glued down, it's kind of like, well, <laughs> shoulda, woulda, coulda. Okay, I like that. It gives it a little bit of color. I'm going to go a little bit more. I don't really see it down here. Am I doing this the right way? Who knows? Doesn't matter. Does it matter? Whoa, there I go. Heavy handed. Okay, well then, and then I think, let's see, this one's going to go here. Yep, that's fine, and that's fine. And I didn't check the page coming out of it, but I think these colors are all going to work together. So let me get this ink off my hands. And since I'm using the Distress Oxide, I wonder, since it's really dark right there, yeah, I can just like smudge it out a little bit. Oh, I can. Okay, I kind of like that. My page is going to get a little wrinkly because I'm putting moisture on it, but that's all right. It's all all right <laughs> until it's not. There we go. Let me just fix it. Okay, now let me see. What do you think? Okay. I think um, it needs something else. So let's do, okay, so that was the peacock feathers. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get these mixed up. Broken china, yeah. Thank God it says it on the bottom too. <laughs> maybe, I'll, maybe I'll use some more of these polka dots and I'll just, um, yeah, I think there. We just need a little bit extra. So on this one, I only really need to do it on the, kind of get that corner, there you go, and I think maybe this corner also, just get the corners, don't leave the empty corners. Now let's see, I feel like I'm going to need a little bit up here, because this was, bug was bugging me anyways, there we go, yeah. Well, I guess this one's probably going to be a staple throughout, which, look at that, I went the same direction each time. There, that breaks that up a little bit. And then, there we go. Maybe another one right down in here somewhere. Oh, down here. And that corner also. And then, okay, enough is enough, girl. There we go. So I'm going to stick these back on here, and they're not glued. So I mean, like when I come back later and I see this, oh, I can always go back. And I did, I did um, stitch around this. I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up. Oh, yep, it does. So I did two straight lines here. <clears throat> the reason why I sewed, this, I sewed this together, even though it's gonna be glued down, is because the last one, the pocket was just so deep, it was really hard to, it was just hard, I didn't like it. I don't wanna be hard. So I have, it's easier. There, that's all it is. I just want it to be easy and fun. <clears throat> so let's get that together. Oh goodness. Boy, I'm so sorry. I'm. <clears throat> Maybe if I take a drink of water, it'll help. 
It's rainy here. And wake, I woke up stuffy. So, I like the rain. I like it when it rains because it. I have so many allergies. It like pushes everything down. But then I have the aftermath of it. So it's like, yeah, there's no winning when you have allergies. Okay, and making sure I'm still going the same direction. Is this the, no, I have this upside down. That doesn't matter. Okay. So now, so we have from that page to that page, and then we have this one. I think that's pretty. Um, and then I can always pull these colors in over to here. Um, and I can put a little bit on there because I haven't st stopped. You know, I haven't. And then I have all these colors right here. I haven't stopped. I haven't glued it down, so it's not like fully committed to its location. I like that. I like that. Um, I definitely want to do something on here. I just don't know what it is yet, so I'm not going to play with the ink on that. And then we have this. That's beautiful. And then we have this page. Um, another one that I want to um, ink up. And then wait till you see the middle signature. I did. I worked on this off camera, and I did something I've never done before, and I just thought, well, sort of never done before, but it's so cool. I love it. So let me see this page. I'm going to do up. There's a lot of the avocado dyed, the pinks and the golds, and I'm going into these little reddish colors. And then, oops, sneaky peek. <laughs> Sneak peek, sorry about that. All right, so let me see. I'm gonna take this page up, and I'm gonna lay that down. And then I'm gonna take this over here, and then I'm gonna put this here. So I think I have my little gold, my favorite gold ink. This stuff right here, I gotta look this up. I gotta find some more of this. It's called Brilliance Archival Pigment. It's an ink refill and I got it at a yard sale a long time ago and I'm so stingy using it, but it goes a long way and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I want more of it. And then this needs to get sewed also. So, and this was just an old time card that I had put um, scrapbooking paper and digi kit um, Etsy, from Etsy paper and same thing right here is just collaging and that's some tissue as well so well I guess they still need their paper clips don't they okay so I did all that inking on the for those colors on that card and I'm not even using those colors but maybe I will later who knows I think this would be a pretty one though for those flowers so let's do that one let's get this over here kind of like if I've already used it, I'm trying to stick it over there What color? What color? I kind of want to do. Um, I, I kind of don't want to do any of the colors I chose. Isn't that funny? But I, I need to stay within my color family. Um, I do have this Victorian velvet. Maybe I think this would be nice. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just. I'm not even gonna test it. I'm just gonna do it. Okay. Okay. Ink it up. I mean. I guess I should I should test it just so I know how it comes out, but we already know these these um, Carabella what are they called um, texture texture plates are amazing. I'm not really sure where this is gonna go. I think I, I put it up here because I wanted to um, distribute the weight in the book so it's not so heavy down here. I want to put some weight up here, and I think that's it's something's gonna go up there. So and then this one I know is gonna go down here, but I mean somewhere in that area. Right, so let's just get with it. It's just right side up. Let's just start in the middle and put some ink down. Okay. What is this page? So I have, I do have more of this in my um, stash. So it's not. I'm, too, I'm being too nervous. See, I should have practiced. Oh well. If I truly don't like how it's coming out, I'll just grab another page out of my um, scrapbooking paper pad that I got from Hobby Lobby, um, and we can just make a new one, All right? There's always a way to fix it, or to make it. I don't know why these flowers can't be upside down too, so let me see. Yeah.
so I'm, this is definitely gonna be a layered one. I'm not loving it, I'm not getting my impressions good, maybe because I'm scared, who knows. That's all right, let's see, let's try something else. Let's um, close this one up for a second, and then let's try, let's try this on those little polka dots. There you go, Pokey Dots, or whatever it's called. What is this one called, anyways? I like it a lot. So I probably should tell you what it is called. It is called um, Background uh, Avic Desk Points. I don't know. Anyways, let's throw some ink down. Like I said, I don't want to waste any of this, so. Hopefully this transfer is good. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. It'd probably be better if I put it on something else, but. Let's see. If I just put it directly on here and then smear it around. Maybe if I had a dauber, I just don't want the dauber to soak all my ink, ink, my ink up, so. Will that work? We shall find out. Yep, works. Yay, <laughs> yay us. I'm gonna go down the side here and I'm gonna do the other side here. So I probably should bring some gold accents in some other spots in this book. Okay. All right, and I think we're gonna be about done with this, with these parts of it. I kind of want to wash that out. Maybe I'll just use this plate right here with or this texture plate and with these little dots, and I'll just put some little gold specks and some other ones in and around there, because I really do like it. Um, gosh dang it, I really don't want to waste that ink. What if I never see it again? So Maybe I'll put some of it on the edges here. Just, and at least if nothing else, I'll see it and I'll remember what I did here. Maybe. Oh, that texture plate had that blue on there. Isn't that cool? Like, that's nice. And then that's going to be up there. I like that. So I really like the speckled egg and we didn't use it. I feel like I just want to maybe put a little bit of those dots, I guess, on there with this. Might as well. And since I don't really know for sure where that's going to go, I'm going to go ahead and just put it right in a couple of spots before I put it away. And then I will show you that cool thing, I think it's cool, that I did for the middle of the signature. Um, it's not fully finished, but I mean, I think, all I, I think all I'm really gonna do is maybe add a little something to the top and then do some sewing on it. And yeah, that's enough, that's enough, Sandra. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna stick this back on there like that. Okay, and then this one I'm just gonna put down here because I know this is where I want it. Okay, and then um, maybe clean up a little bit. Whoops. Okay, let's see. I'm wondering if this one wasn't doing it so well because I didn't clean it really good um, after I was done jelly plate printing. So you can see the acrylic paint. I can get that off. I just use some Dawn dish soap, just a little bit of that, and then I let them soak in my water. And then I have a little, little, um, like this little white scrubby homemade thing that I didn't make it. I bought it from people who make them homemade. And I just use those to clean my stuff. There we go. So let's put this back together like that. 
right? Isn't that pretty? And then look at those colors and they bit pulled right here. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And some of those things may still be wet and they'll transfer and that's okay too. I mean, it's, it's all handmade and it's a junk journal, so we can get junky. Let's get junky. So we'll just do, got that page done. Yay. Um, got that white space done. That one's actually cream and it's linen. I'm, I like that. I'm going to leave it for now. Got this page done and uh, I'm still not 100%. I think I'm going to have to pull, I'm going to pull this color in with one of those, um, with one of these shades maybe back in. Nope, those aren't the ones. Okay, I have orange somewhere. So I'm gonna, I'll use that. We'll figure it out. And I like that, 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 that. That's cool. And then I gotta figure out something to do with this page because it's maybe the, oh, you know what? I didn't ever put those belly bands in. I think that's a great place for the belly bands. I, I have something on this side too, but that's fine. I think that's fine. I think I would like a belly band. So on this one, I did an edge punching on that. And I don't know if I did this on camera, but I flipped this paper around. It used to be the other way, but I found that I liked that color, all these like colors playing together. And then this will be like a little tuck spot. And then I did sew the tracing paper. Oh yeah, so I did do that. So those are the two things that I did for the middle. <clears throat> so I stamped with the, the, with the three blues that I showed you to begin with. Um, just different butterflies on there. And I also used my stamps for the very first time. These, um, what are they called? Have you ever seen these IOD stamps? Yes, I was definitely, <laughs> I bought them from watch, I was watching a video and I was like, oh my gosh, I love them. And I bought them for some of my furniture rehabbing that I wanted, that I do. And um, I've never used them. So I grabbed them out and this one, this pack has two. And so I just used this long flower one. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. Oh, maybe this way's better. I used this one and I just did um, first, second, um, and I think third generation stamping. And I used Rusty Hinge Distress Oxide ink. And then I just, so I sewed, the, then I sewed the tracing paper that we aged a little bit with the ink. And I just sewed it with that pretty blue thread. So there, that's the, this is gonna be the middle layout. And then this paper is just, um, it's like a construction type paper feel. I think it's from a sketch pad, an older sketch pad, maybe a children's sketch pad, because I don't feel like the paper is really high quality, but it was a nice texture to it. And I had already had um, some scrapbooking paper. I showed you this, so you'll see what it looked like before I did this to it in the video before this one. And then what I did is I just Mod Podge some tissue paper on the outside of it. And then I, some more tissue paper, and I wanted to bring the cover to the middle. See? And then um, I just flipped that up. So this is gonna be the middle layout of this book. And I just love it. I think it came out so nice. So I have all the colors in the background. Um, I just love it. So I hope this I hope this stays number eight. This can't be the one I choose to keep for myself after I make it, after I'm showing you making it for you, right? Can I, can I keep it? Anyways, um, I'm just kidding. I'm going to send this out. This will be num um, number eight in the 10, general, 10 junk journal giveaway. Um, thanks for coming along and hanging out with me and crafting with me today. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, friends. Bye.